Uh, as promised, I said I was going to do a video on the bushcraft bug out backpack that I keep in my truck. And I will tell you right off the bat that a lot of this gear is redundant and some of it probably won't be in the bag, but to keep everything where I know it's at, it's in the bag. The bag probably weighs about 25, 30 pounds with everything that's in it. But like I said, these bags, they have all this stuff in them, but when I get somewhere and decide what I'm going to do, I can take stuff out and leave it in the truck. This bag stays in the truck. It has all the stuff I want in it or may need, but depending on the situation, I can take things out. So without further ado, I'm going to get ready to show you what's in the backpack. Um, uh, the backpack is a R-O-K-K -K Roke backpack. Uh, I can't remember where I got it. I think a friend of mine at work gave it to me. But we'll go into it and you'll see what is in my backpack. And Tim, I hope you're watching. You're the first one that asked about it, and there's been one or two other people asked what's in that backpack. So let's get to it. Okay, here's the backpack. And I do carry, this is a uh, two man tent. It's one of those cheap, I think it's a Walmart. I'm not going to pull it out, but I carry that in the truck. I got my Shamog on the. Uh, backpack as well and I'm adjusting camera camera angles here uh, on the front here I've got my Kuska that Jared got me for Christmas and of course this is one of those carved wooden coffee cups carry that with me now on the outside of the backpack there's two carabiners uh, I got another carabiner, uh, I think they call it the figure nine carabiner. Uh, it's got, uh, you know, it's not for climbing, but you can hook your rope to it or whatever. Then over here, I've got a screw in bow hanger that's on the zippers. I like the zippers on this backpack because they do have these pulls. Got a strap here. I can actually put my and I don't have it out here. Uh, my axe, or not axe, my camping hatchet. On the bottom, which I'll go ahead and get it off, is my wool blanket that I keep on it. And I made these leather strap or tie downs to hold it. Uh, it this backpack does have a rain fly and there's the name of the backpack company i put these on it's got the hookups to put the straps on the uh got bag here with a slot that goes all the way through that's where my axe goes the shoulder straps are right here and i've got my Condor uh, Bushlore knife with the Micarta handles and the leather sheath. I did put a key ring on it and made this snap on strap where I can put this on my belt. Over here, I've got a little small Leatherman tool. I've got a whistle and thermometer. This is a little FRS radio charged by USB that I keep. Sometimes I have my ham radio. Now this thing has a nice belt. It's got a pocket here. Okay. On this belt, 
I have a monocular right there. I think it's a Tasco monocular. And on this side of the belt, I have an LED flashlight. I'm hoping you can see that, that LED flashlight. And uh, we'll start with the side bag here. This side bag. Of course, I carry some zip ties. You can always use those. A couple spoons, of the, a spoon and a spatula that I made from uh, wooden spoon spatula you can buy at Walmart or Dollar Tree or somewhere. No, I didn't hand carve them. Here I have my Maristep saw. and some larger zip ties. This bag over here, another slot, all that goes all the way through. And here, carry water bottle. This is a Stanley, single wall. What I like about it is you can unscrew the top. Yes, it's got water in it. But you can also take the top off. So that's that. And that's all thin that side. Now we'll get into the meat of this thing. Front pouch. Sorry for the dog with barking. I've got uh, fruit grain bar, pistachios, another fruit grain bar. Some uh, blaze orange ribbon. Uh, these are shop towels and some fixing wax and a piece of, I think it's uh, thousand grit uh, wet sandpaper. I also have a pair of hardy gloves, work gloves. This is a right in the rain pen, mechanical pencil. We open this up, got a right in the rain notepad. And I thought, lens cleaning cloth and a signal mirror. I have a Grundig AM FM shortwave radio. It uses uh, AAA batteries, two of them. And I don't have them in there because I don't want them corroding. I've got my uh, ferro rod with the handle I made for it. I got some hand warmers. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of this stuff that won't go in this bag because I won't need it. I have a compass. Of course, this one's got a bubble in it, and I hate it. This is a UST compass, and you just can't seem to get the bubbles to go away. I got a... Uh, Clear rain poncho, Ozark Trail. Here I've got some earbuds and some earplugs. The earbuds are for the shortwave radio. I've got another flashlight. And it's too bright out here to see, but it works. I do have the magnifier just in case I forget my glasses. I have to have glasses to read, so. And then in this bag, I have two USB uh, five volt 
there's six six thousand seven hundred milliamp hours recharging blocks i've got a multiple uh connector i also have an ac charger here and i got various different uh usb mini this one has uh the the regular usb usb mini uh iphone that's the older iphone and i've got an iphone charger in here for my iphone and another pair of earbuds the, this is actually earbuds and a microphone for the iphone that's all that's in this pouch here this lower pouch I have two bandanas, a camo and a red one. I have some cordage. I have uh, uh, bug spray. I have a Sharpie. I have a can of unopened fixing wax. I have another ferro rod with the striker. I have a uh, Swiss Army knife. I have, if, I know everybody who fishes have seen this. This is the uh, tool used to open up a fish's mouth, but there's another reason for this, which you'll see in a minute. I got a inland knife. Uh, it's got my car to handles on it kind of matches my uh condor bush lore. i have a knife sharpener this is a smith it's got uh it'll sharpen fish hooks and knife blades you got a coarse and fine steels in there and then a bic lighter that's all that's in that bag. Now, this backpack has cinch straps on the sides here. Now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes. Right off top, here's another poncho. This is in a Ziploc bag. It actually zips up in itself, but I put it in a Ziploc bag. We have a dry bag. We have a tarp, a five by seven. Now this is from Walmart. And we have a little stand for my alcohol stove, which is in a Ziploc bag because there's alcohol in it. It seals up. You got this cap that you take off and there's another cap on it that seals up just like a mason jar. My two cup coffee pot. Uh, here, this is my Gears hammock that I got. I really like this hammock. I have used it a few times in the backyard. Here's another dry bag. These can be used to gather, I mean, they're different sizes. These can be used to gather uh, fire making material, whatever. I do have a can of coffee. It's like my Maxwell house. I do have a Soul Bivy emergency sleeping bag. And here is it's got the rain fly on it. This here is another little pack. I think this is for a camera. This is my Altoids tin. It's got a hole on top of it for making char cloth, but I have a flint, a steel, and char cloth, another fire tender in here. That's the only thing that goes in here. Here, I have a little leather pouch that I made. It's got some fire tender material in it. Here's another pouch that I made to gather more 
stuff. Here is a stove that I made. I remember how it opens up. There we go. This was made. I think I done, I don't know if I done a video on this or not. This was made from a cookie sheet. It just folds out. There's a pin here. It goes together like this. There's some other pieces that goes in it. But basically you have a small fire stove. There's a bottom that goes in here. Uh, and then I've got some skewers. I think there's some skewers on this one. Uh, There's two of the skewers. There's the bottom. And I apologize for the wind. Another skewer. Together like so. It would help if I put it together correctly. The day I want to shoot a video, the wind would be blowing like crazy. But there's the stove. Goes in just like that. And then it can sit here, coffee pot set on top of it. This is another fire making kit. Lighters, uh, magnifying glass, a small uh, Swiss knife. Uh, this lighter's got duct tape around it. These straws are Vaseline soaked um, cotton balls. Uh, matches. I got another ferro rod right here. I got a magnesium stone here with a ferro rod and a sharp, uh, striker on it. Like I said, a lot of this is redundancy. Put that back in there. And these skewers are more for this. They lay across the teeth here so I can set the coffee pot on top of that. This was a good place to put them. Okay. Okay. Then I have a UST tube tarp, ultra lightweight and compact. You can use it to do like an A-frame with a ridge line, sunscreen. It's you can actually make almost like a tin out of it, or you can wrap up in it for thermal protection. Then I have another aluminum bottle, well it's stainless steel, not aluminum, uh, that I keep, more redundancy. I have a cup out of my Stanley cook set, another camo bandana, then these are the Walmart GIS, GSI cups, uh, but I got that, basically it just all nests like that together. I got a uh, long sleeve camo shirt. 
I've got some homemade fire starters made from uh, egg carton and uh, I think it's cotton or lint with wax melted on it. I have some uh, uh, lint uh, right there, dryer lint. Here in this pouch is my water filtration. And it's in a waterproof container that I got from Walmart. It's a Sawyer. They're good up to, I think it was 100,000 gallons. It's got the straw, got the uh, typo or plunger, that's what they call it. It's a cleaning plunger to clean the filter in your Sawyer filter. And these will screw on most common water bottles. You know, like if you buy water uh, at the store, uh, it won't fit all of them, but it's the standard bottles that it will fit. Uh, but I keep that in here. Now that's something that would always stay in, no matter if I was going bushcrafting, backpacking, or just a day hike, whatever. That stays in this bag. Here is my Stanley Cook set. Now this pouch, I can't remember who made it. Uh, you can buy them on eBay, Amazon. I have my utensils, a spork and a knife hooked together, a little carabiner. I have a green scouring pad. This here is my stove. Uses the alcohol, or not alcohol, uses the uh, propane butane. It's got its own little igniter. And these flip out. Put it back in its little case. this all back and then up here there's the fuel they call it rocket fuel got that at uh, Dunham's and then here's the Stanley cook set now the problem with this bag is this Stanley cook set is kind of hard to get out Uh, I need a bigger bag and I don't know if they make them I'm sure they do I can't remember what size this one was this was not made for a cook set this was made for you to carry water in but it does fit in here and it fits in snugly this thing is insulated okay and another thing that's hard to get, you've seen the other GSI cup from Walmart. There's another red bandana. What also makes it kind of hard is I've got another one of those cups in here. And to keep the Stanley pot from rattling around in it, I put the bandana here and put the pot in there and it pretty much holds its own but you got the Stanley cook pot that bandana and another green scouring pad and in the Stanley cook pot now I haven't done none of the modifications to it there's tons of mod modifications but you know, you squeeze the handle, open it up. Look at here, there's another can of fuel. And the other cup. Now, do I need both cups? I don't know. But I put it in there. Now, what's nice about this fuel, if you'll notice, these cans are small. They're not like the ones you get at Walmart. That'll go all the way in the bottom of that cup, that pot. So you put, I can put the stove in here and some other stuff. But where I keep the cup, 
put that in there that's as far down as it goes then the lid goes on and what's also nice about the stanley cook set and the walmart cup you look at that now i've got a pot to cook with with a lid you know i've got my uh wooden cup so i could use this as a pot to cook in or whatever somebody with me got an extra cup to drink out of but you know all that nest down in there and it would help if i could keep the lid on the can is what's doing that squeeze the handle flip that down and what's nice about these cook pots they got a straining holes right there and you got a vent hole right there oh the other secret i was going to show you these jaws for the fish they can be used well i haven't drilled the holes in it like i said i haven't done the modifications you drill two holes in the side and you can put these in here and you can hang that pot over a fire okay uh some people use coat hangers i've seen somebody talking about using this and you know it will fit perfect you just got to drill two holes right across from each other underneath this rim so you don't have to do nothing to the lid and you can uh, hang that over a fire to cook okay now this blue bag another dry bag it has a chapstick it's got some aspirins and it's got uh, glucose pills because i am diabetic it's got coarse toilet paper it's got a couple i think a hand towel and a wash rag or maybe just two wash rags it's got a microfiber towel and then down here in the very bottom it's got your toiletries toothpaste toothbrush deodorant uh, hand sanitizer um, some vaseline some uh, body powder uh, all that in here in this little it's uh, a netted type uh, bag in a ziploc bag make sure you know, nothing gets wet even though this is a dry bag i always worry about that Like I said, a lot of this stuff, I'm going to repeat it, may not go in the woods with me. But some of this stuff, yes, it will. They'll have to. Because like I said, I am diabetic, so I have to make sure I keep certain things with me. Okay. Then, this, don't tell the United States Postal Service. This is a United States Postal Service flat rate shipping bag. Basically, it's uh, what they call that material you can buy at Lowe's. Uh, the house rat material. I can't remember. Uh, I, I just can't remember. Same type of material. I've got different buckles and straps for whatever purpose I might need. And then cordage. Paracord, twine, two more hanks of paracord. So you just never know when you're going to need cordage, so I keep that. I do have some bank line, but I don't have it in here. And I bet you all thought I forgot about first aid. No, I have a first aid bag in here. Or not a bag. Uh, I need to switch it out to a bag. But it is a sportsman's waterproof uh, first aid kit by Coleman. It's a waterproof uh, case, keeps continent dry, keeps the float, crust proof, ideal for camping fishing, glows in the dark for easy identification. It's a 100 piece kit. It's got bandages, small bandages, butterfly bandages, 
spot bandages, knuckle bandages, antiseptic wipes, sting relief wipes, uh, large safety pins, small safety pins, antibiotic ointments, a razor blade, rubber gloves, one, uh, two pair, no, one pair, uh, six gauze pads, one roll of adhesive tape, and the waterproof case. So that is everything in a nutshell. Let me stand back here so you can see all this. All this, except for the tent, is in this bag. Now, some of it would come out, some of it wouldn't. But this is what I call my bushcraft bug out camping backpack. Do I take this up on the mountain when we're hiking up to check game cameras? No, but this is in the back of my truck. Uh, you know, say we get up there and decide, well, hey, we want to stay. The only problem is we ain't got no food in here other than those little snacks you've seen I had. Uh, but this, in a nutshell, is the bag that a few people have asked me about. And I hope I got everything on video. And uh, I do want, of course, if they add more weight, yeah, I've got the wool blanket right here. I would like to get me a canvas tarp and roll it up with the wool blanket. I've, I've watched some videos on these guys. They actually use just regular tarp and that might be fine. It's gonna be lighter weight than a canvas, a uh, real canvas tarp, but they show you how to make basically a bed roll or whatever. Roll it up and put it on your backpack. If I was taking this in the woods, you know, the top of this backpack has two places here for uh, more straps. That tent, I could strap across the top of here. But in a nutshell, this is it. Tim, I know you've been waiting for this video and waiting for this video. So hopefully this answers everything. And I hope this wind hasn't kept the audio all screwed up. Uh, I'm afraid it will be. Uh, maybe when I go into editing, I may have to redo this all over again when it's not windy. But appreciate everybody watching j, j True Outdoor Adventures. Stay tuned. I'm still getting ready to do the video on the little surprise that I put in the community section of our YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, it'd be two weeks. It might be three weeks. I got to give it some time. I got to test it. I don't want to just show it and say, here it is, get it. No, I want to do a thorough test on it. So just stay tuned for that video. Oh, one other thing. It was hiding. Yeah, it's made in China. I do have a little fold out shovel. But uh, again, that's it in a nutshell. Nothing else hiding in there. Appreciate you watching j, j True Outdoor Adventures. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. And uh, as we're fond of saying, we'll see you in the woods. Thanks for watching.